So here's the first play that you're going to see for Anthony Richardson here, okay? So you're going to have Pittman come up real quick, come back, okay? You're going to have this guy coming in at Pittman. Everyone's blocked. You know, they don't have someone free to get him. All right, free running guy, free running guy at, at Anthony Richardson. Now, Richardson, gonna, not even going to drop back. Plant the foot back, pass it out. Now, you're going to see, he's going to completely miss him. Completely miss him. And, you know, I get it. You know, you have someone running straight at you, but and when you have someone... On, you know, with the dead full on sprint coming after you, trying to sack you, you're just going to try to get that ball away. But Pittman was pretty much open here. And maybe Anthony Richardson could have thrown this ball a tad bit earlier. So let's watch it real quick. So, Anthony Richardson, one foot back, bam. You know, and you, and you have this linebacker come after him. Fine. You know, it's going to make the throw that much harder to make. I get it. But Pittman is making a stop. Okay, so. You're going to see Pittman. He's going to come up. Stop right there. Already throwing it. Good. Good. Throwing that ball quick. Okay. Just off the mark. Just just off the mark. And I get it. You have someone in your face. Difficult throw to make. I get it. We'll give him the break there. Next play. Can't really give him too much of a break. Okay. Here's the next play. Third and eight. Not in your favor. Once you get past third and five, passing the ball, defense knows what you want to do. Okay. First off, Conlon Grants. This is the guy that Anthony Richardson wants to throw to here. Okay. He's... He's watching Kylan Granson go all the way. Kylan Granson's gonna come out and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna run a little crosser. This 27 here, he is gonna follow him. All right. So this guy right here, this man, the slot, he's gonna come through and he's gonna bring the defender with him and he's gonna get in the way of 27 on Granson. It's, and it's gonna give Richardson a slight window if he lays it out in front of in front in front of Glancer, just. I, you know, to be honest with you, I don't even think he should have thrown this one. All right, because Jonathan Taylor is going to come out of the flat here. He's going to come up right through the middle of the line, and he's going to be open. As soon as he makes the cut, he's open. There is a defender flying down to JT, but Anthony Richardson throws this ball quick. You're going to give Jonathan Taylor, one of your best playmakers, an opportunity to make him miss and get that first down. Instead, you're going to see AR is going to force it to Granson, which damn near almost was an interception. Probably should have been. So let's watch it. Let's watch this play. Granson coming over the middle. Look at this. Forcing it. Forcing it to Granson, man. Forcing it. Because let's, let, let, let's take a few steps back, all right? Let's take a few steps back. You see JT coming out of the backfield, right? JT, look at that. Right off the cut, look how open John Taylor is. Pittman kind of clearing it out over there. You know, you, you have these two guys focusing on Granson getting up a little high. And they're just and they're just coming back a little bit. But Anthony Richardson, for some reason, staring down. Staring down kind of great. He's even looking in this direction. Like, why not give your your best player a glance? Give your best football player a glance. He's bound to make the, the, the this linebacker right here is gonna beam down. But tell me you don't throw that ball now. Get it there now. And give John Taylor a chance, a chance to make a defender miss and get that first down. Instead, forces it to Granson. Look, right in his hands. Right in his hands. Almost picked. Not good. Not a good play at all by AR. And see how long he takes to throw the football. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Four. Almost, almost four, almost, you know, three full seconds. Okay. Next play. This one, this was his best throw of the day. Not saying much, but it was his best throw of the day. And it's only good completion, only good throw in my opinion. So what you're going to see is simple play. Simple, okay? Molly Cox is going to come up, turn around, little hitch. Puts on the money. Outside, and, and, and he got to the outside. Perfect spot as the defender was coming in, on into the inside to defend it. Beautiful. Perfect. This is what you want to see. And... Unfortunately, I I just don't see this enough from Anthony Richardson. Okay. Watch it. Quick. Molly Cox. Quick hitch. Outside shoulder as the defender's coming in. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was gorgeous. A little nice run after the catch. Beautiful. That was a great play. Great throw from Anthony Richardson. Okay. Okay. So here in his fourth and final throw, there are a couple things here that I see that are a little um aggravating to watch so first off you're gonna see what's gonna happen here Conlon Granson he's gonna just come on a simple flat and he's open man 
he's open but ar is so hyper fixated on everyone going this way watching this side this guy's gonna finish his motion he's gonna come in and come this way pierce he's gonna come in this way he's gonna take a little more of a just straight on approach and then cut in he's gonna be open right here so if anthony Richardson is gonna be patient why take your eyes off at the last second when pierce is open man pierce is pretty much open you throw that ball quick pierce would have caught it um but you'll see what i mean here when he makes a throw to to Grants in here he makes his decision too late and by the time he throws the football it's behind him he's got to stop and try and catch it and just not a fan of this man you know you cannot have your guys stopping to catch the ball you'll see multiple times you know when he you know we've seen it a couple times in this in this one game I mean throws it behind him he you know not very accurate but the one play we saw that was good was was the last play Molly Cox beautiful perfect Put it right on him. He, you know, even the outside shoulder would have sh where it should have been. But this play is just the opposite. So let's play it real quick. Let's just see. Look, Granson's going to come over the middle. Okay. Look at that. Granson. Why not throw right here? Why not throw to Granson right here if you're making a decision? He's looking. He's so hyper fixated over here at the moment. He's not paying attention to what he has right here. Kylan Granson wide open he would have the first down here easily instead he waits and waits and waits all of a sudden he's like boom a little too late now watch this outside you know it's not it's not even on him at least to the outside of him then at, at least lead him to the outside you know kylan grants had to stop and make the catch so i mean and then if you go back and watch it again okay same thing yeah we saw grandson wide open wide open okay right here wide open right here but wide open right here okay so hyper and that's where you should throw right here that's where he should throw he's being impatient and you know if you stay up there a little longer even though you know i'm complaining about him being you know you know hyper fixating at one point look at this Look, 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 look at Pierce coming out of this cut. You have these two defenders going up with Pittman. You have six going with six. Uh, I believe six actually stops here to look at Pierce. Or no. Look. Look at Pierce, man. Look at Pierce. If you're going to be so impatient, then throw to him. Then you had Pierce. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. I mean, the right play would have been just to dump it off to Granson. Wide open. He, he would have gotten the first down easily. So if Anthony Richardson actually saw something up there, he would have waited on this extra second. Look at all that time he has in the pocket. He would have waited on that extra second, half a second, and thrown to Pierce. So look, look at that. Beautiful. Wide open. And instead, he takes too long to throw to Granson, which would have been a first down. We just threw him right away. Waited for Granson. Made the decision late. You threw the ball late. You, do, you threw the ball behind your guys, so you're not even giving him a chance to turn up the field and run. And that's difficult. Throwing that far across the field and leading them, you know, trying to lead them up a little bit. But still, you can't throw behind him. You can't throw behind him. So, it's just not good. Not a fan. Not a fan of this preseason game from Anthony Richardson. Did not do a very good job. Okay, so there's my quick evaluation on Anthony Richardson's debut to the 2024 NFL season. As you can as you can kind of tell, I'm not really too hyped about Anthony Richardson. He is a freakish athlete trying to play quarterback. I don't see anything too great about him as a quarterback. As an athlete, he is special. He's fast. He's big. He's he you know he's very athletic. That's that that, that that's what he is. I don't know if he's anything more than that. So Anthony Richardson, man. Just not a fan. Don't think he's going to be the guy. And as you've seen through, you know, for some of the plays, it's very aggravating because a little thing, he's not processing the field well. He's not seeing the field well, not being accurate, throwing the ball too low, too late. Uh, footwork. I mean, pocket presence is one thing Anthony Richardson has really gotten better at. Other than that, I, I mean, I don't really see too much of Anthony Richardson. He's got a long way to go. A couple weeks ago or, you know, no, not a couple weeks ago. This is a while ago. Anthony Richardson said, made a statement that the NFL is easier than the college level. 
little concerning. But hey, it is what it is. Anthony Richardson, first game was not too good. Had one phenomenal play, but that phenomenal play should not be your highlight. That, granted, he only had four passes. That phenomenal play should become routine if Anthony Richardson is the guy of the future. So that is it for this video. I appreciate you for stopping by. Don't forget, Hot Take Tuesday is starting up. The Tuesday before the season starts, big giveaway then. The, the winner is going to win a jersey of their choice, and they're going to get a free Hot Take Tuesday merchandise, probably a T-shirt. I don't know if I'm going to add a third wear or not. We'll see. Join the Discord if you would like to be, you know, informed even more or become a member. You know, that and that reminds me, two ways to join the giveaway. You need to join the Discord and you need to participate in Hot Take Tuesday that night. Or you need to become a YouTube member and or become a YouTube member. You don't need to be a YouTube member if you're in the Discord and you participate. Or if you become a YouTube member, you'll be entered into the giveaway. So I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I hope you had a good one. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. Put the post notification bell on. Don't forget about that giveaway happening on the Tuesday before the season starts. And this is it for me, JDW Sports Talk Show. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Put the post notification bell on if you enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Thank you.